Hello Junk Wax Investor Community. Today we'll be looking at the top 10 Junk Wax era basketball cards that sold on eBay in the last week. In addition to this awesome list, as always, I've included some bonus listings at the end as well. Definitely a great mix of cards. You don't want to miss those. Make sure you stay tuned to the end. All right, let's not waste any more time and get into the good stuff. All right, going to start off this week in the 10th spot from 1992 Top Stadium Club. We have the Shaquille O'Neal Beam Team Rookie Card, graded a mint or better BCC G10, and it was a fixed price sale for $655.25. So for comparisons, Mint PSA 9 sell for around $350, and Gem Mint 10 sell for over $4,000. It's a pretty nice looking copy. The Beam Team inserts were inserted into Series 2 boxes at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. And boxes of 92 Stadium Club Series 2 sell for around $220 to $275. In the number 9 spot from 1992 Topps Archives, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Gold Rookie Card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $660. In a gem mint slab, it's pop of 161. There were only 10,000 of these produced. It was in factory set form only for the gold parallels. There is no shack in the regular version as this card here replaced the checklist from the regular Topps Archives set. 92 Topps Archives gold sets have recently sold for around $230 to $300. In the number 8 spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra with the Michael Jordan Power in the Key insert graded the mint or better BCC G10. It was a fixed price sale for $850. Mint PSA 9s of the Power in the Key Jordan sell for just under $800. And Gem Mint 10 sell for over $7,000. So you're kind of just over the price of a Mint PSA 9 here. This one does look to be a little off-centered on the front. But I've also seen 10s with not perfect front centering as well. The Power in the Key inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs. at a rate of 1 in 37 packs. And boxes of 93 Ultra Series 2 sell for around $200 to $300. In the number 7 spot from 1989 Fleer, we have a Michael Jordan graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $920. Pop of this card is $1,102 in a gem mint slab. And boxes of 1989 Fleer sell for around $450 to $600. In the number 6 spot from 1992 Tops, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Rookie Card Gold Parallel graded a gem in PSA 10. That was a fixed price sale for $1,075. It's a pop of 692 in a gem mint slab. The gold parallels were inserted one per pack. And you gotta look for 1992 Tops Series 2. And those have recently sold for around $140 to $180. And the number 5 spot from 1993 Fleer Ultra with the Michael Jordan Scoring Kings insert graded Mint BGS 9. This card sold at auction for $1,250. Pop of this card in the Mint Slab is $539. And there are 105 higher graded Gem Mint BGS 9.5s. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering, 9 for corners, edges, and surface. Mint PSA 9 sell for around $1,700 to $2,000 and have a pop of $271. The Scoring Kings inserts can be found in Series 1 boxes of 93 Ultra, and they are inserted at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. Those boxes have recently sold for around $340 to $425. In the number 4 spot from 1993 Fleer, we have a Michael Jordan Living Legends insert graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $1,655. In a gem mint slab, it's a pop of only 75. The Living Legends inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 37 wax packs and 1 in 24 jumbo packs. Boxes of 1993 Fleer Series 2 sell for around 100 to 130 bucks. All right, time to see we have the top three, but before we do, just a quick reminder, if you need any hobby supplies, check out BCW Supplies. There's a link in the description below. Use the code JUNKWAX10, save 10% on your order. In the third spot from 1995 Skybox EXL, we have the Michael Jordan Natural Born Thrillers insert graded gem in BGS 9.5. That was a fixed price sale for $1,675. 
It's a pop of 105 in the Gem Mint Slab, and there's one higher grade of Pristine 10. The Gem Mint PSA 10 pop is 52, and they sell for over $4,500. So definitely a big difference there. The Natural Born Thrillers are in sort of 1 in 48 packs, and boxes of 95 Skybox EXL sell for around $350 to $450. In the number two spot from 1992 Fleer, we have the Michael Jordan Total D insert graded gem in SGC 10. This car sold at auction for $1,850. In a gem mint tuxedo slab, it's a pop of three. There's none graded higher. The gem mint PSA 10 pop is only 29 and they sell for over $4,000. That's a big difference. The Total D inserts were inserted into series two boxes of 92 Fleer. But those are Series 2 32 card cello boxes at a rate of 1 in 5 packs. Those 92 Fleer cello boxes have recently sold for around $220 to $260. If you're interested in looking into any of these boxes further, check out the description box below. There's eBay affiliate links that take you directly to eBay search results for all the boxes in their top 10, plus a selection of ones from our previous videos. So check those out. And top of the list this week in the number one spot from 1994 Tops Finest, we have the Michael Jordan Refractor with Coating, graded gem in PSA 10, and sold at auction for $6,100. This is a nice copy with the coating because the words don't cover up his face. Uh, and the gem in slab is a pop of 147. So this Jordan can be found in Series 2 boxes, and refractors are inserted 1 in 12 packs. Boxes of 94 Finest Series 2 sell for around $450 to $600. All right, that's it for the top 10 Michael Jordan and Shaq list. If you want a little more variety, make sure you check out tomorrow's video where we do the same thing over again. We look at sales from last two weeks, though, with Shaq and Jordan excluded. So out of these top 10 cards from this week, which one of these would you want to add to your PC? I think for me, I really like the Total D 92 Fleer insert in that gem mint sgc slab i like insert sets like that one where they're not particularly rare only one in five packs of the cello packs however they're just tough to get in gem mint condition with that black border low pop of only three in an sgc slab and a low pop of only 29 in a psa slab so i think that's my pick let me know what yours is in the comments below and make sure to hit that like button while you're at it all right, time to take a look at our Junk Wax Investor Basketball Index for the week. Basketball was down this week, set new lows, 64. Ouch. S&P 500 and NASDAQ were up this week, and Bitcoin had a pretty rough week as well, 38.5. The Basketball Index is made up of 50 cards. Here's a list of those cards, spanning from 1989 all the way up to 1996. Pretty awesome list there. Lots of great rookie cards. Let's see how the Basketball Index... Stacks up to the other three major sports indexes that we track. It's still in its normal spot on the bottom. It's been there since pretty much February. With the 64, baseball is at 86.5 at the top there. Football 82.1 and hockey had a pretty rough week set in the low at 78.5. So I track all the values and update these automatically using the Market Movers X app. It's got some pretty awesome hobby features for tracking your collections. If you want to check it out, there's a link in the description below. Use the code JWI and you'll get the first month of your subscription for only a buck. All right, let's get in some bonus cards. From 1994 Upper Deck Nintendo with the Michael Jordan Chaos in the Windy City. Graded gem in PGS 9.5 and it was a fixed price sale for $1,100. It's a pop of only 8 in a gem in BGS slab. There's one higher graded pristine 10. Subgrades were 9.5 for centering corners and surface and a 9 for edges. The mint PSA 9 pop is only 11 with 5 higher graded gem mint 10s. So it's a low pop in both BGS and PSA slabs, but definitely a unique Jordan card. From 1994 Upper Deck SP Championship with a Michael Jordan die cut graded gem mint CSG 10 and it sold at auction for $43.09. I think that was a pretty good Pick up 40 bucks for a gem mint Jordan. It's a pop of one in a gem mint slab. There's no higher grade of perfects. Over at PSA, it's a mint PSA 10 pop of only 32, so low pop at PSA as well. Uh, they sell for over 300 bucks, which still seems kind of low for a low pop gem mint Jordan. 
the die cut parallels were insert one per pack for 1994 SP Championship. From 1992 Upper Deck International, we have a Shaquille O'Neal All Star Italian rookie card graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $31. And a gem mint slab, this Shaq rookie card's low pop of only 74. From 1991 LS Wooden Awards, we have a Michael Jordan graded gem in PSA 10. This card sold at auction for $42.11. This exact card sold for $98 back in February of 2021, and it's a pop of 541 in a gem mint slab. From 1992 Hoops, we have a Michael Jordan Supreme Court insert graded a Mint Plus CSG 9.5. This card sold at auction for $34.99. It's a pop at 2 in a Mint Plus CSG slab, and there are 11 higher graded gem mint 10s. Mint PSA 9 sell for around $30 or so, so you're getting this Mint Plus CSG copy for around the price of a Mint PSA 9, and 10 sell for around 80 to 100 bucks. The Supreme Court inserts are inserted into Series 2 packs of 92 hoops at a rate of 1 in 11 packs. From 1993 Skybox Premium, we have the Michael Jordan Dynamic Dunks insert graded gem Mint SGC 10. This card sold at auction for $460. It's a pop of only one in a gem in SGC slab, and there's no higher graded black labels. The gem in PSA 10 pop is only $35, and they sell for around $1,500. The Dynamic Dunks inserts were inserted into Series 2 packs of 93 Skybox Premium at a rate of 1 in 36 packs. From 1995 Fleer Ultra, we have the Shaquille O'Neal Ultra Power Gold Medallion Parallel Green and Mint PSA 9. This car sold at auction for $49.99. That's a pop of only 5 in a mint slab, and there's only one higher graded gem mint 10. Pretty nice looking insert. The Ultra Power inserts were inserted into Series 1 packs at a rate of 1 in 4 packs. And then the Gold Medallion Parallel versions of the Ultra Powers were inserted at 1 in 40 packs. From 1994 Fleer Ultra, we have a Shaquille O'Neal Rebound Kings insert graded gem in PSA 10. This car sold at auction for $40. It's a pop of 120 in a gem mint slab. The Rebound Kings inserts for 94 Ultra were inserted into Series 2 packs at a rate of 1 in 2 packs. So definitely not a rare insert. From 1993 Upper Deck, we have the Michael Jordan Hollow Jams graded a mint PSA 9. This car sold at auction for $193.50. It's a pop of 50 in a mint slab, and there's only 10 higher graded gem in tens. So the Hollow Jams was a 38 card box set, and it also had Penny Hardaway and Chris Weber rookie cards in there as well. From 1994 Classic, this is a pretty unique Shaq card here. It's not really a card, I guess. It's a ceramic porcelain Shaq with an autograph and it sold at auction for $52. So as you can see on the back, these are limited, or these porcelain ones were limited and numbered to only 10,000. And it says in the right up there that personally autographed artist proofs are limited to 1,000. I think this one might be a tough one though to buy in raw condition like this to know if the autograph is authentic. Kind of taking a bit of a chance. That's probably why the low price of only 50 bucks. All right, that's it for the video. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite cards were. Also, if you have a quick second, please hit that like button. I truly appreciate the support. If you haven't checked out the affiliate links that we have in the description below, we have eBay Partner Network links for various search results specific to the video. If you want to do some browsing of some of these cards and sets, check out those links below. It's a pretty helpful reference. Also, we got a link to BCW Supplies, and you guys can save... 10% with the code JUNKWAX10. And in addition, we have a link to the Market Movers app. And you can use the code JWI to get your first month subscription for just $1 to give it a try. As always, enjoy the rest of your day and keep collecting. Thank you.